Here in this video we will take a look at whether there are other alien species that have become predators or hunters, including humans and whether we are one of the most dangerous preys for the Yautjas to hunt. So a predator's primary existence is the sport and honor-based hunting of other dangerous species. And although there are a singular species, there are many variations and subspecies in their folk. And if they can work things out without falling apart, then the question begs. Can other alien species become blooded predators? Well, most if not all predators are indeed Yautjas and they themselves only become hunters when they undergo through a ritual of hunting a very dangerous prey species, mostly either a Quadza Ridge or a Xenomorph and to do this, they have to stick to a set of rules that are regarded as their code of honor. If the Yautjas succeed, then their immediate seniors declare them blooded and qualify to become hunters and hunt alone. If their code of honor is broken, then they are considered bad blood and are subsequently killed for it or exiled and declared as heretics. So to answer the question, can other species become predators? The answer is yes, if they prove themselves in a blooding ritual or some sort of similar situation, although there have only been one other species other than the Yautjas that have been blooded as hunters and accepted into a clan. So to answer the question, are there humans who have become predators or accepted into a predator clan? The answer is yes. Humans as of now have been the only species to have been considered and blooded as hunters. Yauja motivations for hunting are not just for sport but rather for honor, with the species having developed a whole tribal culture around their status at the top of the food chain. Their code of honor dictates what makes a worthy adversary and thus will make a predator or clan more respected. So surprising as it may seem, certain humans like Lex Woods and Machiko Noguchi met the criteria of fulfilling a blooding ritual or unknowingly by their character quality and fighting skills met the code of honor of the predators and as such were blooded as hunters by the elders or the elite predators there, accepting them into one of their clans. So what's the story behind the human predators? There are three notable females that have been accepted into a clan or have been blooded by predators. Machiko Noguchi, Ash Parnell and Lex Woods are them, each coming from a different time with a different backstory but the common thing is that they have hunted or killed a xenomorph that was either infesting the earth or another planet. In doing so and assisting a predator in the hunt, they were blooded by the pack leaders. Machiko and Lex Woods both had killed or assisted in the hunt of a queen xenomorph and Ash Parnell was credited with hunting down a xenomorph human predator white hybrids. Machiko was even given predator armor and crafted her own bio helmet and was properly a part of a clan. There is one other human that although wasn't blooded as a hunter in the normal ways that the others were, with the mark from Xenomorph blood, was indeed considered a hunter and was even supplied with Yautja equipment for a hunt. This was Royce, yes the same one from the movie Predators of 2010. Although the movie ended in a cliffhanger, the comics continued it and he was given specially crafted wrist blades, armor and a bio helmet designed for him especially to hunt down the deadly four-armed predator or maybe he was a hybrid predator, a mutated one and with the help of Isabel, the Israeli commando, they did the deed and so these are the only human predators till date. So about the other question, are we one of the most dangerous prey for the Yaujas? The answer is a bit tricky. Uh, if we were to compare, let's say, a common man from the streets in a one-on-one -on -one battle against a predator, then the odds of him even knowing what hit him are slim. But in certain cases, when highly skilled individuals have learned about the existence of these aliens and know their tricks and trade, they often come out on top trapping and killing the predators using their own strengths as a weakness. As in the cases of almost every predator movie and some instances in the comics as well. What makes us dangerous? Well, humans might not be the ultimate prey which are reserved for the xenomorphs or a rival species such as the engineers or even feared by them like the Drukathi, but we are still considered highly dangerous especially in groups and if well armed, capable of hunting down the predators themselves and making a quick job of xenomorphs and even river ghosts and in special cases earning the respect of the Yaojas and accepted into their clan as one of them. So what are the predator to human death rates in encounters? Well, the count is high in human deaths, but at the end of almost every movie, the predator or predators do meet their end at the hands of uh, people. Dutch, in the first movie, single-handedly killed the predator. 
Then Harrigan also did the same thing to the City Hunter. In Alien vs Predator Requiem, Wolf was killed in a nuclear strike by the United States military. In Predators, the three Super Predators were killed by a suicide blast, a katana duel and by Roy's beheading the leader of the clan. Even the upgrade Predator, the one that easily butchered the fugitive Predator was in the end defeated and killed by Quinn and Casey, ending his life by headshots. And now with Prey, the feral Predator, although having a killing spree in the movie, was in the end defeated by a girl. So that's it, that's the video. I hope you have enjoyed watching this one. So do hit that like button for support and subscribe as well. But most of all, smash the bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.